All right, guys, so it's finally time for a real day in the life with the OnePlus 7T. Right now, we are using the front-facing camera, so this is the video quality and audio quality you can expect from it. And this is 1080p. Unfortunately, you can't do 4K recording with the front-facing camera, so this is the quality you get at 1080. Now, it is about 1026 a.m., so we're getting out of here, getting ready to go to the studio, get some stuff done. So after finishing up my morning at home, I grabbed an Uber over to the studio to finish prepping for the next video. All right, so we're back at the studio. Like I said, we have a lot of work to do on certain videos. Uh, we're working on the home theater setup that we just completed. I believe this video should come out after the home theater video. So if you guys are interested, I'll have it linked below for you to check out. But we gotta talk about this phone. So this is the OnePlus 7T, right? And it's very different looking from something like the OnePlus 7 Pro. So first thing you'll notice is the color's a bit different. It's a bit lighter but what really strikes you is the camera. So this also has a triple camera setup, but it's got this like giant circle around it. It's an interesting look. Not really sure why they opted for that when they pulled it off with the 7 Pro like this, but that's what it is. Also, something else that's kind of different is that it has that teardrop notch. So unlike with the 7 Pro, the 7 Pro really didn't have anything up there but with the 7T, you got that. So I believe the OnePlus 7 also had a notch. Let me actually see if I can find that. Okay, so that's interesting. It looks like OnePlus doesn't even have the OnePlus 7 listed on their website anymore. It's just a 7T and 7T or 7 Pro, but they still have the 6 and the 6T. So I'm wondering if this is supposed to officially replace the OnePlus 7, which was a, you know, step down from even this. This would be in the middle of all of the 7 range, uh, but it looks like they might just be replacing it with this guy, which is good because this has some really nice upgrades. And the biggest upgrade being this 90 Hertz panel. So this thing is a lot smoother than something like with a 60 Hertz panel, which is what's more typical on almost every smartphone. And this is nice because this is a $600 phone, so it's in that mid-tierish level, um, but it's got pretty much everything that you'd come to expect in terms of specs. You've got like a Snapdragon 855 plus, 3800 milliamp hour battery. So it's pretty much got all the specs that you'd expect from a smartphone in 2019. And what we're really looking at here is a good phone with really good specs, that you wouldn't expect in the mid-tier. With a Snapdragon 855 processor and eight gigs of RAM, there isn't really anything you can throw at this phone that's gonna slow it down. All right, obviously, stopping for lunch. Um, but I do wanna elaborate a bit more about why that 90 hertz display is actually pretty cool. So for regular everyday people, you'll mostly see it when you're just scrolling through your apps or something like that. So if you're just doing all of this and that, you'll, you'll see that speed which is definitely a lot smoother, but it's also nice when you're playing certain games. I'm telling you guys, as somebody who's a gamer, you can really appreciate a good display, uh, especially with a screen this big. This is a 6.5 inch display. I like that you can get that kind of performance out of a phone that doesn't cost as much as the flagship devices. You ready? All right, guys, oh, it's dark. So we figured we'd test out night mode now since everyone's talking about it again, since the iPhone just recently got its hands on it. Not a new feature to OnePlus, but why not remind ourselves how it performs? So with a regular shot, first we're gonna take a picture of this guy, Carl, over here. Boom, and then we'll do night mode. Just swipe over to the right. Nightscape, ooh. All right, see it takes some time. It buffers around that circle. And now it's captured, so let's take a look. It actually looks darker in night mode. That's weird. Let's kill even more lights, kind of see what we can get here. Bring the screen brightness down a bit. Yo, stop. You look like, you, like you've like you been zapped. <laughs> and now we'll do a regular photo. All right, so this is normal. This is night mode. So what I think night mode is doing here is it's trying to capture what we're actually seeing while the normal mode is probably just boosting the ISO, boosting certain settings just to get an overall brighter image, but extremely soft on both images. While gaming on this phone is definitely a nice experience thanks to that display, watching content is also enjoyable, but a bit of warning, the viewing angles aren't as good as the OnePlus 7 Pro, but they're very similar, and I doubt anybody's gonna have real complaints about it. What's also very similar to the OnePlus 7 Pro is that camera. 
We took it outside for a few shots and got some pretty nice results. Now, today's a pretty studio heavy day, but we figured why not run upstairs real quick before it starts to rain. Take some pictures of the props that we use in the studio. So we got future trunks over here. Figured why not test out this 48 megapixel camera. This thing actually has the same camera that the uh, 7 Pro has. So we're gonna see how it does at this price range. You know, might be a nice bet. All right, so we got my boy trunks. Dang, this looks really, really good from here. It helps that we've got all these clouds going on in the back, like a storm is coming in. Yo, <laughs> Yo this looks good. This looks really good. But let's take a closer look at some detail here. Not super sharp. Like if you look at some of these edges, they're not the sharpest in the world, but it's still a very, very clean photo. Uh, he does look a bit darker than he does in real life. I don't know if you guys can actually see the difference there. This definitely makes it look a bit more contrasty. Now, something I like about this camera is that it has a macro mode. And with that macro mode, you can get really close to a subject and see a lot of detail. So let's take a look at his like knuckles on his hand. Let's turn that macro mode on by hitting that little flower over here. We can get really, really close. Too close. But this close, bam. Guys, check out the distance between the camera and the subject. That is extremely, extremely close. So now if you want some of those really nice detailed shots, I mean, look at that, that's awesome. And just to have a little fun, let's get this edge right here of this table, super macro. So you see this little table right here? This is what it looks like zoomed up. So you can see all that detail over there. You can see the little wood chips. A very, very nice macro mode. Uh, something you don't really see a lot on smartphones. I'm, I'm liking that here. But we got this wide angle lens that we got to try out. Let me actually take a picture of you guys. I can fit you both in the frame just by standing here. We'll see what that looks like. So it looks like it's really crushing the blacks. So you can still make out the detail here, but this is really, really dark compared to what we actually have got going on over there. It doesn't look as black as it does in this photo. Let's try one more wide angle shot and call it a day. So we got another video prop over here. My boy Lancelot used this wide angle lens to get his wings in the shot. Boom. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if it's just the time of day or what, but these photos look awesome. You know, I wanna take pictures with my iPhone real quick. Boom. All right, so here we have it with the iPhone. Definitely not as punchy. Well, that guy fell. Definitely not as punchy and contrasty as this guy. So just going based on what I'm seeing here, there's a lot more color here. I kind of like this. This is a bit more of an interesting shot than it is with the iPhone. And oh my gosh, is it pouring all of a sudden? All right, that's a wrap, folks. Let's get out of here. Whew. And after wrapping up everything at the studio, got back home to finish up the rest of the day with the phone. All right, guys, so it's pretty much the end of my day. It's about 11.35 p.m. And we've got about 13% left of battery life. Uh, screen on time, we're looking at, at, at almost five hours. It's four hours and 55 minutes. But with this phone, you're easily gonna get in that five hour range for a full charge. So definitely good battery life. OnePlus has always been good at great battery life. So not too surprising. This is a 3,800 milliamp hour battery. So it performs exactly as I'd expect from OnePlus. Now, my overall thoughts with this phone. Extremely fast, has the best specs you can expect right now. Uh, maybe not the best, but it has really, really good specs for a phone in this price range. You got the triple camera setup that it's a decent camera, nothing mind blowing. The photos you get out of this have their own characteristic, uh, not super sharp, little contrasty, but the colors punch a bit and I like them. Overall, I like them. Now, when you're looking at a phone in the $600 range, you gotta consider some other phones that are in this bracket. Uh, you're looking at the iPhone 11. Heck, you're even looking at the OnePlus 7 Pro. It's honestly not that much more than this guy. I really would have liked to see this thing come in at about 550 bucks, maybe even 500. Might be a lot considering the specs that are inside of this guy and the performance you get out of it. It would have just made a little bit more sense considering its competition in this price range. For someone looking for a phone around 600 bucks, you don't want to spend too much money. I definitely would recommend this. It's a fast phone. It's not the best in the world, uh, but it definitely gets the job done. And I can't imagine anyone truly complaining about what they get out of this. But you do gotta factor in competition. 
even within OnePlus, I'd say. But let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the 7T. If you would just skip this and go for the Pro or if this thing is just right on the money for you. Let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed it, be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.